Welcome to Codexy, Germany, not far from Birch's Garden in the heart of Bavaria for the World Four-Man Bobsleigh Championships on Speed. Hi, everybody. I'm John Morgan, joined by Ron Rigeth for the final four-man bobsleigh competition of the year. And there's one of the favorites, Christoph Langen. We're going to show you today the final heat of four-man bobsleigh. And here are the favorites. They're racing for this cup. Matthias Höfner from Germany. Second in the German Championships, Todd Hayes, Andre Lange, Zubkov, bronze medal winner last year in Lake Placid, and of course, Christoph Lange. The Martino Cup, that's what they'll be challenging for. It's one of the oldest winter sport trophies that's been around since 1930. Hoffner, fourth in World Cup points. Does very well on this track, like you would expect. And Todd Hayes of the United States, the big Texan, he's third in World Cup points. Got a very formidable start team driving also the Bodine sled. Zubkov won the bronze. That was the biggest success so far for the young Russian team. But I think he can't win a medal here. And Andre Lange fighting for the gold. Was only second after the first seat. Then a hundred ahead of Christoph Langen. And gained some time in the third heat. This guy has won three of the last four years in this sport. This guy here beat him the only time in 2001 in St. Moritz. Lange was fast in training. This is his home track. He doesn't like anything else other than gold medals. The Martino Cup they race for. The four-man World Bobsled Championships has been awarded since 1930. Great crowd on hand. Here's our officials. Here's Matli from Switzerland, Georg Wehrt, the Italian. Terry Kodowski from Calgary. A lot of fans on hand for Andre Lange. Short 1,250 meter track. Lange it doesn't have a great history on this track. And this is Rennie Spies driving us down and commenting at the same time. And listen to his voice and the big okay, pressure you know curves come. The brakeman jumps in. Straight, first corner. Watch his hands. Coming on the right side. Steering a little bit, let him go. Stand the bob on the left side. Now that's combination. First corner. S2. S3 a lot of further. And steering down the straight. Now two pushes before you enter Indiana. And now into the Chrysler. The pressure increases. And now exit Chrysler in the labyrinth. And now into the Shine into the sea curve over 102 meters per hour into the finish corner. Not the straight and the finish corner. I've got it. Another breakman breaks the sled. Bobsled's the NASCAR winner, and the U.S. team drives Jeff Bodine designed bobsleds. These guys have been racing for a long, long time. They know what speed is, and, and uh, I think by 2006, uh, I think we're going to be on top of the game. I'm Jesse James. When it comes to my cars, I'm all business. When I need a part, I trust the pros at AutoZone. When you want to get serious about your car, get in the zone. AutoZone. Epson T001. Canon BC31E. Shopping for ink and toner in most stores is hit or miss. HP C9720. Come on, come on. A. Ah. At Staples, we stock a huge selection of cartridges, so we guarantee we'll have the one you need. And right now, buy any combo twin or two single packs of ink and get one of these reams of multi-purpose paper free instantly. Staples. That was easy. Speed Monday. Original series.
behind the scenes, from checkered to green. I'm not afraid to hide anything. The real world of racing. It's our job to cheat. It's their job to catch us. NBS 24-7, Monday, 8 Eastern, on Speed. I'm a control freak, and I wouldn't want to do anything like smoking where I may not be in control of myself. It's an addictive habit. If you want to be rebellious and you want to do something different, something different from what all the other kids do, just find something you have a passion in, like sports, and push yourself as far as you can. Bobsledding is fast. It's exhilarating. You're going 85 miles an hour, pulling up to a 4 or 5 G. I couldn't be an elite athlete if I smoked. Don't start smoking. Welcome back to Koenigsee. Very traditional track. They've been sliding here for a long, long time. First on natural ice, and then they built the first artificial refrigerated track in 1969. Yeah, the host of the World Bobsled Championships are in 79. I was a competitor, also in 86, now again in 2004. It's been a great couple weeks here in the heart of Bavaria. All five FIBT disciplines for the first time ever on one track. Great crowd here again today. Great crowd, and despite the weather, Rod, it's been snowing pretty hard all night. Temperature minus 2.9 degree. You know, the Bodine sleds, the US 18 drives Jeff Bodine design sleds. Bodine, the NASCAR driver, one of the Daytona 500 from upstate New York, became a little love affair with the sport of bobsledding when he started seeing the USA team not driving American design sleds. So after the 92 Olympic Games, he put together a bunch of people who started designing the sleds. They had no real good success at the 94 Games, but after that, things started to improve. And Jeff Bodine had a lot to do with it. You know, I knew that the Europeans weren't selling our guys and girls the best stuff. And so, and plus I thought American athletes representing the United States of America in the Olympics should be using American-made equipment. I think I've been proud of it since the day we started. It, uh, I'm, I'm very excited that we've gotten to this level, but we've been proud since day one. Yeah, it was, uh, it was like getting in uh, a new car uh, compared to uh, a car that's 25 years old or something. You just can't believe how smooth and and how quiet it is and, and uh, how much nicer it is to drive. You know, Jeff Bodine and the Bodine Project is, is uh, you can't quantify what that means, so our, our, our program. Um, we have an American building uh, sleds for Americans um, with our interest in mind, uh, with NASCAR uh, technology behind it. Um, these guys have been racing for a long, long time. They know what speed is, and, and uh, we can't say enough about it, and, and, and it's starting to work now for us. And I think by 2006, uh, I think we're going to be on top of the game. Ironically, they are already on top of the game. Here's our 13 highlights. They're racing for the Martineau Cup. We keep talking about it. It's been around since 1930. Last time the USA won it was in 59. Andre Long has won it three of the last four years. Christoph Longen right here is the only guy that prevented him from winning it. And here's another German, Matthias Hofner. He's challenging for one of the medals. It's going to be quite a challenge here in the 14. Longen, Hopner, Hayes. Longen, here's Hopner. Matthias Hopner currently fourth. He was fifth after the first day, but then he did a very good third run. Being faster than uh, Ivo Rueck. So Todd Hayes gets some pressure from behind. Yeah, he's in the boat ice sled in third place. They got big start times, which really is a, helps him down the track. He didn't do very good in the two man, but in the four man, he's got the boat ice sled positioned well for a medal. Christoph Langen, oh, he wanted to win here. He doesn't accept other medals than gold medals. He always says the second is the first loser, but he's on second position. But he can fight, he can fight back, possibly. But Andre Lange, he has to make mistakes, losing his uh, 16 hundredths of a second, which he is yet ahead of uh, Christoph Lange. Lange, the Olympic champion, last year's world champion. He's won three out of four years. If you win four years in a row, you get to keep the trophy. Nobody's ever done that. Lange doesn't do good in this track, but he's positioned himself well for gold. 
So coming up on speed, it's the Martin O Cup, the race for the World Championship trophy. It's the Subaru all-wheel drive away. Now is the time to get a new Subaru Outback with sophisticated monochromatic colors for as little as $235 a month. Or get all-wheel drive ruggedness with up to $1,500 cash back. Or get style and comfort with 1.9% financing for 63 months. Get sophisticated. Get rugged. Get style and comfort. Get the deal of your choice on the Outback of your choice. And get to your Subaru dealer in a hurry because the Subaru all-wheel drive away ends March 31st. Assuming the coefficient of static friction exists across all variables, velocity V is maximized when the value of theta equals 24 degrees. Meaning what? Robert? Um, fast? That's correct. Don't miss your chance to experience the fastest track in NASCAR during the Golden Corral 500 weekend, March 12th to 14th. Atlanta Motor Speedway. Real racing. Real fast. Dude, I thought you were busted. If you're 20 pounds or more overweight, there's news from the Obesity Research Institute. Dramatic weight loss can now be achieved without diet or exercise. I lost 25 pounds in six weeks. When I lost seven inches through my waist, I couldn't believe it. I was 247 eight weeks ago, and I'm 30 pounds lighter today. The first week, I lost like about 10, and then every month, like 20 pounds. Propylene, scientifically proven to reduce weight without special diet and exercise, backed by nine clinical studies. Please understand, propylene is so powerful that it was formulated only for those who need to lose at least 20 pounds or more. Call now to try propylene risk-free for 30 days for only $29.95. If you don't lose up to 20 pounds in 30 days, send it back and we'll refund your $29.95. But wait, it gets better. Call now and we'll include a second bottle absolutely free. Call in the next 10 minutes and your shipping and handling is also free. That's right. Call now and your second bottle and shipping is free. Call 1-800-672-6464. Welcome back to the World Bobsleigh Championships on Speed. Koenigsee, Germany, a very snowy Koenigsee, Germany. First up, Latvia won. Gottes Guts, Janis Elias, Inter Stigmanis, and Masis Rulis. Currently on position 14 after three heats. Had a very up and down year, and this was the year he was supposed to take over as Latvia won, but it has not happened. There is someone else from Latvia. Janis Minins. Sanders Prusis was the guy from Latvia who retired last year, who's now coaching the Italians. And Goods, oh, there's a little drift right off out of those drive lines. 195. We'll see much better start times than that. But they're driving Latvia made sleds. They're pretty proud of their equipment from Latvia. They mostly use them in uh, two men. There's one foreman. Yeah, but that actually looks to me like a dressing slap. The minutes coming up a little bit later. 114 kilometers. Do the math, six times that, or six tenths of that is miles per hour. So we've got about 70 plus miles an hour. Into the finish, 120 clicks down there. That's about 73 miles an hour in the finish line and they beat the austrians at the bottom by two hundredths of a second that's about two fingernail lengths so wolfgang stumpfer austria beaten by the latvians but he isn't happy at all with this result well the mistake right out of the drive lines at the start very difficult little start area it's a very steep as they jump in those sleds quickly, and sometimes the driver doesn't get a hold of those D-rings quick enough, and they drift out of those drive lines like we saw him do. Here he is in the Chrysler, and you can see the different drive lines here. Uh, Stompers, the sled that just came down before him, and Guts is pulling away a little bit here. Different lines, and that shows you that not everybody goes in the same spot in these big corners. One sled down, 13 more to go. The next up, Stevie Holcomb of the United States. Stay with us.
Red Bull is searching for one American driver to become the next Formula One world champion. Are you the one? Ugh, my feet ache. Ugh, they don't smell so great either. Only Odor Eaters Plus Arch Support insoles have new Zorbitex technology to absorb sweat and destroy odor on contact. Revives tired feet. Give food ache and odor the boot with Odor Eaters Plus. Look how much $10,000 of credit card debt would become after years and years of making only the minimum payment. You need to call 800 Credit Card Debt today. Call for your free and confidential credit card debt analysis. 1 800 769 2914. Smoking is not a normal, natural function. Putting a, you know, a fire in your face and breathing the smoke in is, is something we would normally try to avoid. You gotta ask yourself why current smokers tell non-smokers not to start. There's a reason for it. They get hooked, they can't stop, they don't like it, they want to quit. They spend the rest of their lives trying to quit. Tobacco companies want to make smoking look cool, but it's not cool. What is cool is bringing the best out in yourself, rising to, to your potential and, and accomplishing something real. Inspiring, breathtaking, and stirring the soul. This is where dreams stop and passion takes over. Barrett Jackson, Palm Beach, live next Friday, 8 Eastern, only on Speed. Welcome back to the World Bobsleigh Championships on Speed. Next up from the United States, Steve Holcomb, Eric Stoddard, Brock Kreitzenberg, and Aaron McGuire. And we talked to Holcomb about the S-curves on this track. Actually, the S-curves are probably my four favorite curves in the whole world. I mean, they're, they're a lot of fun, but they're really difficult to get right. I mean, you have to be perfect in there. And, you know, I'm trying to do what I can. I had a little trouble in the second run yesterday, and it kind of threw me sideways, and it killed a lot of time. But you know, I think I know what to do now, so I'll try and make up for it. The S curves are so important, but first to start. What can they start again? We got snow. 493 last heat, 495 here. Their worst start of the four. And he's trying to move up. Now Guts, that is Guts behind him, separated by almost 2,500 to the second. There's a comparison. Who gets in first? These are the S curves. Real technical, not a bad exit. So that 2500s lead is now up to 20, down to 2400s. Speed on the left, 114 kilometers. 115 kilometers is about 65 miles an hour. Looks good here in the fit. Oh, bad exit there on the near the finish. And Holcomb holds. In fact, he increases his lead. So we talk about the fast line is not always the smoothest line. Sometimes you can't really turn these sleds. And that exit of that finish corner down there, Ron, he almost, they were almost on their heads. But that was the fast line. He came out very late. And I'm pretty sure he lost some time down there. Oh, and that's good. He had to lose some time. But that's just not steering. And, Hey, this kid's 23 years old from Park City, and he's been learning, and he's had a great season. Here he is down in the finish. A lot of pressure down here, big speed, and he doesn't have the best speed. You can see he's half a kilometer down to the, the Italian and the Austrian, but watch this on the exit. Bang! Boy, that's not the way you want to have the sled go across the ice. He did lose some time. <laughs> So Mark Ginnonen, uh, how disappointing in this is this when uh, he, he wanted to fight the, for the medals. He was the only one during the last World Cup season who could beat Andre Lange in Cortina. Yeah, he had a gold medal in Cortina and stopped Lange's streak of nine straight four-man events over two years. And everybody thought he was peaking at the right time. He's back here in double-digit placing. Very disappointing. But he had problems with the uh, loading in the first heat. Oh, that's right, that's right. The first heat, the uh, one of the number three men didn't get in properly, but still, he had a bad second heat, not a very good third heat, and he's back here challenging Steve Holcomb, and uh, he's got a little mistake in his skid there. Too much pressure on him? I'm pretty sure. There's so many supporters here from Switzerland, so many members of his fan club, and you know, you want to give your best, 
but he couldn't do it and he's losing time he was losing speed so maybe Holcomb can beat him this guy already got medals and world championships at the Olympics this is gonna be close 50 meters left Holcomb wins by four hundreds that is a very disappointing world bobsleigh championships for Martinez. Not good in the two man. No, he was actually sad. There was no race off for him. Ivo Ruik had to race off with uh, Ralph Ruik, his cousin. And so. Ivo won, and boy, was Martin Aden flat coming into this event. They can see it. Here it is the exit of Kreisel. And then here is the Holcomb versus Annan. And look at the red sled start to catch up a little bit. That's when Annan goes up there in the, near the halfway point of the Kreisel. Boy, I can't tell you what that means in Switzerland. Hey, next year, the World Bobsleigh Championships comes to North America. It's skeleton, men and women, two-man bob, four-man bob, women's bobsled, all in Calgary, 16th to the 27th of February. Going to be a great party. You might want to attend. Perfect PC doesn't come from a store. It only comes direct from Dell. Just call or go online and get the sleek dimension desktop with an Intel Pentium 4 processor and a flat panel display for only $9.99 after mail-in rebate. Plus, get free shipping and a free combo drive upgrade. You won't find a deal like this in any store. So hurry, this offer ends March 17th. And it's only a click or call away. Easy as Dell. Dell PCs use Intel Pentium 4 processors. Think you can't afford Dell quality on a smaller budget? <laughs> Think again. Right now, get this Dimension desktop with an Intel Pentium 4 processor for the amazing price of $4.99 after mail-in rebate. Plus, get free shipping and a free CD burner upgrade. Dell notebooks start at just $7.49. Remember, they're only direct from Dell. So hurry, these offers end March 17th. And they're only a click or call away. Easy as Dell. Dell PCs use Intel Pentium 4 processors. Hey, Greg White here with the Two Wheel Tuesday. We are working out the final details to our Scootin' USA trip, plus motorcycle demolition derby. That's Two Wheel Tuesday, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Pacific, only on Speed. Our next lad is from Italy, Fabrizio Tossini. This is his team. We are looking forward to the next Olympics, Torino 2006. The new track in Torino would be a very interesting track. It would be a very technical track, not dangerous, but very technical. With the timetable we are on the schedule, we want to be ready in November. It's a huge challenge, but I do that for the guys I love. So the guys will have a pleasure to slide in our run. Next year, we'll be there for World Cup in January. And this is the Italian hope right now. And hasn't had a great year. Oh, he was sick. But he, uh, well, recovered a bit. And he did some great runs here. And I'm pretty sure he got some very good equipment from Sandis Cruises. Yeah, the remember, it's the Latvian coach, the guy who was European champion last year, many World Cup medals under his belt. And now he's coaching the Italians. And he's also brought their his sleds to the Italian program. But you can have the best equipment, but you need a good start time and you need a good driver. Tosina is in a battle with Steve Holcomb right now of the United States, and Tosini has definitely got the advantage on the bottom part of the track. He had a great speed in the Chrysler. The next speed. Oh, big speed here too. 74 miles an hour, and it looks like the Italians will take the lead. That's a good heat for Tosini. Italian coaches, Cruces, Tartaglia, love it. Spoke about Cruces, Antonio Tartaglia, former pushman from Günther Huber. Gold medalist from the 98 games, Tartaglia was. 
And the Italians placed their hope for 2006 and Tosini right here, and they liked that final run. That was a good one. I wonder how long we will see him in the leader's box. Well, the key about speed on the course is around this corner here, and Tosini had it. Look at that. Best speed so far. And here's the difference between the two red slads. It's pretty hard to figure out who's who here. The Americans got the silver helmets on, but they really follow the same exact line. Even though they're both red sleds, they're pretty much in the same exact line. You don't see that too often in Chrysler. Sweeping the track, so they do breaks here. Got the order from the jury. Every five sleds, they sweep the track. It's about 100 volunteers they have up and down this track. And next up, the Czech Republic. Ivo Danilovic. Former brakeman. Very heavy guy. 105 kilograms. 2.2 pounds, so it's about 225 pounds. About, yes. the, about the same size as Todd Hayes. <laughs> he had one uh, very good run in the two men. Yeah, fifth place here in the first heat. But yeah. Ken fell to like the 13th best time in the second run and fell off the radar for a medal. But the Czechs, you know, their home track, we talk about it all the time, is Altenburg, because Altenburg's right on the Czech border. Had an up and down year. He's had some decent results. In fact, in Altenburg, I think they had, they had two sleds in the top six. Well, that's a skid, and that'll be costly. Three hundreds with that skid. He's going to need big speed here in the cries. Doesn't have 114 is the number that you'd want. Could have to be perfect on the bottom. Through the labyrinths, plus 10, losing more time. Looked good, but I, he already lost the speed. I'm pretty sure he won't have the speed of Tosini. Yeah, two kilometers slower than Tosini, and that'll transpire in a lot of time. And 30, 200s. He lost a third of the second after the cries. And the Italians, Tosini is on the verge of having his best performance of the year. Big crowds at the bottom, music, bands, but if you don't have a good heat, it's hard to appreciate hey, the that spectators. Was, that was to play special music for these uh, guys who come down there, so they play some Czech uh, blast music here. So the Italians are in the leader's box, and a former world champion comes after the break. It's the Subaru all-wheel drive away. Now is the time to get a new Subaru Outback with sophisticated monochromatic colors for as little as $235 a month. Or get all-wheel drive ruggedness with up to $1,500 cash back. Or get style and comfort with 1.9% financing for 63 months. Get sophisticated. Get rugged. Get style and comfort. Get the deal of your choice on the Outback of your choice. And get to your Subaru dealer in a hurry because the Subaru all-wheel drive away ends March 31st. I was this close to filing bankruptcy. My credit card debt was out of control. I didn't know where to turn. Are you overwhelmed by debt? Are creditors breathing down your neck? Do you feel lost and helpless? Then do what thousands of Americans have done. Join Debt Free today. Debt Free got me out of debt and saved me thousands of dollars. It's a great feeling knowing I'm helping my clients get out of debt and getting their life back on track. Debt Free is a nonprofit organization that works with over 50,000 creditors to get you out of debt quickly and easily. Debt Free got rid of my high interest rates, late fees, and penalty charges. You make one easy payment a month. Debt Free does the rest. When I explain to a caller how Debt Free works, I can almost feel the weight lifting off their shoulders. Debt Free saved my life and my marriage. Thanks to Debt Free, I'll be Debt Free. Debt Free could save you thousands. Don't wait another second. Gather your bills and call Debt Free today. Welcome back to Koenigsee. Short break, sweeping the track, and 1999 world champion Bruno Mejean and his team. Hostage, Fourquay, been around for a long time. 
And yeah, I wonder why. I don't see new faces in the French team. Still the old guys. Well, he hasn't had any kind of results. He's driving a brand new Dresden sled, though. They've, the Dresden people have been promoting this piece of equipment. And, but if you don't get a start time, it doesn't really matter what type of sled or runners you got. 501, that's nothing. When he won the world championships in Cortina in 99, he did it in spectacular fashion with the four best heats of four runs and really established himself as one of the best pilots in the world. But when you give up that much time at the start on a short 1,250-meter track like this, it's pretty tough to overcome that obstacle. Doesn't have to see any speed. He might in the bottom, but he's already down by two tenths. He's going to need 124, 123 kilometers down here to have a chance. 121. No. That's not the same speed as Tosini. They know it. They can tell. 2,800. Says Bob Slutters know how to do math. When they don't see equal speed and they have more time in the bank, it's pretty tough to overcome that deficit. And Mejon, he's getting closer and closer to retirement, Ron. That's what I said today. I mean, his family is here. All his supporters are here. For how long will he continue? Looks well, pretty dejected getting out of that slot. Might be the last time we see him. You don't know, maybe he gets a new team, a young team. Wolfgang Hoppe in his last years, he wasn't too fast at the start, but he had a great team which pushed him to good start times and he still could win gold medals. But usually Mejon has the best time even with the bad start. Look at the lines through the Chrysler. You know, Tosini had a great line. That sled is not going up and down. The blue sled, which is Mejon, is. I tell you, Tosini might have had his best run of the year. Next up, here is the Latvian young superstar, Giannis Minis, Lattis. And look what this kid did a couple weeks ago in Eagles, 23 years old. You know, he came out expecting big results. Junior World Championship this year. But here in Eagles, he shocked everybody. He won the first, his first ever bronze medal. He's only 23 years old, Ron. We could see him for a long time. And they say he's got a great passion for the sport. 48 days. That was his best start time. It's a 491. But there's some snow maybe in the spur there. Which makes it a bit slower. The BTC sled. Latvian designed. Small little Baltic country. Bobsledding is the most popular sport. Winter sport. Usually it's jo Oh, wow, what happened there? It's like he, he caught something. Yeah, he tried. Uh, you will see it again in the replay, I think. You, you have to take these two bumps left and right, and he tried to do just a little bit. He steered to the other side, and then he lost it. Well, 1,200s. He had 2,400s before Chrysler. Gonna need that 122 kilometers. 121.4, down to two. The Italians, they could live in the box for one more slam, and they do. And this... To Torsini team, this is their best result of the year. Don't forget, this is about the eighth place, so it's not about the victory, and he knows it. Hey, come on, young boy. You won some very important races, two uh, gold medals in the juniors. He can still make mistakes. I hope we see it again. It's at the end of this straight. Well, you, yeah, you need one. You have to hit right, twice. One, then, and then he steered, it's and like then he, it came. Yeah, then he caught the front part of the bunk. And yeah, you wanted to take some sort of shortcut there, but you can't do it. How's the Italians doing today? <laughs> They're happy. Okay. And the Russians, no medal this year. Last year, sensational bronze medal for Alexander Tsubkov and his teams. But they've got a disadvantage. One of the best guys is injured, Mr. Pushkin. There's the Italian team led by Tosini on the right. The, the next, problem, next problem for the Russians is they have runners. They are not these powerful guys like the Americans or the guys from Andre Lange. So they want a long push track. This is too short for them. Yeah, this is a quick load. 
that's what they say. Look at the drive lines now. The, see, the drive lines there keeps the sled in the grooves until the driver gets in. You can see them here. They're cut into the ice before the race. But after a certain length there, watch the way they go away. The drivers get a hold of those D-rings and you got to snake through there because sometimes they come in there and jump and pull on those D-rings and get into a skid. Well, 4,300 lead is a lot of time in the bank. And he's got the best sneed before snake, which means they had a good load. It's up to 44. 110 kilometer speed coming up here, maybe. 113, I mean, look at that. It's good speed by the Russians. But he doesn't have Tosini's speed. 37s it's down to. Tosini at 122 plus here on the exit. 121-2, down to 28. I think that's going to be enough, though. It might be single digits, but I think Zubkov should have enough. Down 18. So, 4,300s lead at the top of the track, only 18 at the bottom. He had a better start time than Tosini, so either Tosini had a fantastic run or Zubkov didn't. No medal for the Russians this time, not in the skeleton, not in the girls' box lane, not for the man. But the Russian program has continued to improve. Here's the comparison between Tosini and Zubkov. This is quite an analysis of the different driving lines. More bobsledding on speed coming up. Nobody knows wings like Hooters. Our fresh wings and new sauces are miles above the rest. Try the bacon or original. Eat them in or get them to fly. Purchase my autographed basketballs and register to win a trip to San Antonio for championship basketball with me. Please buckle your seatbelt, sir. But I'm a captain. Sure you are. And there's your wing. Awesome, baby. Yeah. Wing your way to championship basketball with Dickie V at Hooters today. Hooters, where the wing's the thing. Call now for your free copy of Car and Driver, the world's largest automotive magazine, with fact, opinion, and tests on the hottest new luxury cars, sports cars, exotics, pickups, vans, and sport utilities. Call now and get your introductory copy risk-free. If you like it, you'll get 11 more issues, 12 in all for only $11.97, 72% off the newsstand cost. We'll bill you later. If you choose not to subscribe, just return the bill, mark, cancel, you'll owe nothing. Call now for your free introductory issue. Look how much $10,000 of credit card debt would become after years and years of making only the minimum payment. You need to call 800-CREDIT-CARD-DEBT today. Call for your free and confidential credit card debt analysis. 1-800-769-2914. They've always been outgunned. Damn. They've always been outnumbered. Let me see your hand! But they've never been outsmarted like this. The Shield, an all-new episode, Tuesday at 10 p.m., only on FX. Check local listings. I'm a control freak, and I wouldn't want to do anything like smoking where I may not be in control of myself. It's an addictive habit. If you want to be rebellious and you want to do something different, something different from what all the other kids do, just find something you have a passion in, like sports, and push yourself as far as you can. Bobsledding is fast. It's exhilarating. You're going 85 miles an hour, pulling up to a 4 or 5 G. I couldn't be an elite athlete if I smoked. Don't start smoking. Welcome back to Koenigsee. World Championships bobsleigh. Here's the world champion in two men, Pierre Ludes and his team. Robertson, Kodak, Zardo. Last week, Pierre Ludes on the German home track. Threw down a fantastic 14th. They won the world championships in two men, Bob. And they celebrated with the Max Hoven Trophy. Luders' his first world championship title. He won the Olympic gold in Nagano in 98. But he doesn't do as well in the four-man. He said before we started the third heat today, I want to beat Supkov at least. That's what he done already in the heat number three. Maybe one more sled. Next would be Ivo Ruick. Plus four, not the same speed, but that's related to the start, the 50-meter start. If he keeps that to five or six down. Ah, plus three is improved. Now, next up, 113.8, I think the Russians had. 114.2, half kilometer better. Pierre Luders. You will see a minus, I'm pretty sure, here. Yeah, minus three. So he's got this Dresden sled flying on the bottom part of the track. 122 plus at the next clock, next speed trap. 121, that's not a good sign, it's down to five. 
This could be to the hundred. It is 400. So Looters does beat Zubkoff. And they're celebrating because this is an important development for Pierre Looters as he continues to improve his four-man skills. And sixth place, that means you're invited for the prize giving. They start to give you medals and uh, cups for the sixth place. He speaks fluent German. He's got a big German fan club here. Yeah, actually from Winterberg. <laughs> I wonder why they support the Canadian. Because in his early years, he, he wasn't quite easy to handle. Well, the Russians, you saw them bumming out. You saw the Canadian coaches, good groomer, on the left. Now, what I want to say is that Pierre Lugas, uh, I think he de developed a bit too. Very nice guy now. Yeah, a little different personality than a few years ago. Of course, he's married now. Got a beautiful daughter named Zowie. There's Ivo Rug. Daniel Mechler, Bert Hefti, Christian Abley, fifth place. He got beaten by one position. The Canadians are in the box. Now, now they hope Rug makes a mistake. This would be a big deal for Luders to be in the top five. I mean, he's already thinking top six wasn't bad. The World Championships next year are in Calgary. This is a right designed sled. Rook should get a very good start time. Rick, first he has to defeat his position, fifth place, to Luders. Maybe he can attack fourth place. 2400s at that clock should be more at the next clock up to 31. That's relative to that start. That's your accelerator. That and Mother Nature in that sport. You know, you cannot gain time on the way down. You can only prevent yourself from losing time. He's up to 3200s now. 114 kilometers was the speed. There's 114 too, very similar to Looters, but he's got 3000s in the bank. Still 32. Lose a little time back, but this looks like enough. Yeah, this should be enough for him, for Ivo Ruick. So, best result for the Swiss by Ivo Ruick. 31 on Not the same speed as Looters, but he's got enough. A little sloppy there to finish. Lost a few more, but Ivo Ruick can finish no worse than fifth place in this World Championships. Swiss uh, head coach Hans Hildebrand, former world champion, is going to retire. After that, after this World Championships, he said he isn't happy with his uh, federation, with the treatment. So maybe they need a new coach. Good start times. Great crowds on hand here. Here's our video motion analysis. Now, who's got the higher line there? Looters has got the more inconsistent line. Rube looks like he's really accelerating away there. And you can see the Canadians led up and down on the Kreisel. This is Matthias Höfner. He's in the German army, like almost all the other German athletes. So we spoke to the general. Uh, the Bundeswehr is one of the big sponsors of uh, a high-ranking uh, sportsman in, in Germany. Uh, and we, we provide for about 750 uh, soldiers who are uh, top athletes. Uh, we provide the, the framework for their top sports. And boy, are the Germans successful in winter sports. Hey, the United States, they've got military athletes. The Russian team's all military athletes. It's almost the only way you can compete in this sport. Well, what those guys sometimes forget, the Bundeswehr is not the sponsor. The taxpayers are the sponsors, yeah. John. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks to you all. Well, here's Matthias Hopter, who's done very well on this track. He's had a really good breakout year, and Ron, he barely made this uh, event in the last weekend, right? He, no. he was very well in the German championships. He could beat Andre Lange, and he was very close to Christoph Langen. So uh, we thought he can probably win a medal, but he's far away from Todd Hayes. Yeah, they think that second seed, the 10 to 20 spot that he's in for the draw, really hurt him, but he's got 1700s lead here. And this is where he usually accelerates. 122 kilometers, he could hit to 123, and no, doesn't have the speed. He's lost a little bit back, but it looks like it's gonna be enough to beat the Swiss, and it is. In fact, he did accelerate did, at the this, end. This is silly. He, he didn't have the speed, but he gained some time. time. You know, the Swiss made a big mistake there in that finish corner. Uh, that might have cost him some time. I think Hopter went through there very much smoother. Look at the crowd. Listen to it. The Bob Devils. That's also his uh, homepage address. 
So Matthias Hepner, not the biggest athlete. He's got very good push, guys, from Halle and from Potsdam near Berlin. But he's quite a good driver. Developed very well. The last season, he could always do one good run and one bad run. And now he found the consistency. Coming up, it's Todd Hayes, teammate Steve Messler, Billy Schupenauer, Pavel Janovic, they go for a medal. It's the Subaru all-wheel drive away. Now is the time to get a new Subaru Outback with sophisticated monochromatic colors for as little as $235 a month. Or get all-wheel drive ruggedness with up to $1,500 cash back. Or get style and comfort with 1.9% financing for 63 months. Get sophisticated. Get rugged. Get style and comfort. Get the deal of your choice on the Outback of your choice. And get to your Subaru dealer in a hurry because the Subaru all-wheel drive away ends March 31st. Next week on Wind Tunnel, a big Sebring celebration. Wednesday night, we'll have Carol Shelby and Danny Sullivan. And on Thursday, Bobby Rahal and Sterling Moss. They're all being inducted into the Hall of Fame down there. Wind Tunnel, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Lost over 42 pounds in less than four months. I've lost over 50 pounds of fat. I lost 33 pounds, and 100% of that was fat. Today, I'm down 51 pounds and 9 inches around my waist. Introducing the Nautilus Tread Climber, a machine so innovative it cuts your workout time in half, yet it feels as easy as walking. Call now for a free video or DVD that shows you how Tread Climber can change your body. The Tread Climber's innovative treadles let you step up as you walk forward. With each step, you do twice the work in one easy motion. In 30 minutes, you can do twice the amount of work that you would on just an average cardio machine. The Tread Climber is made in the USA by Nautilus and is backed by a five-year warranty. Now you can own one with no money down and affordable financing. I haven't been this light in over 15 years, and I feel great. When I look in the mirror, I see a sexy Maddie. Call and get a free video or DVD, or visit us at NautilusDirect.com today. Welcome back to the World Bobsleigh Championships. It's now time for USA number one, Todd Hayes, Pavel Yadovic, Bill Schufenauer, and Steve Metzler. We talked to Todd Hayes about his first three heats. Well, we're going to do what uh, we've been doing all season, and uh, that's going to come out and try to rip off a big start, give ourselves a little room to play with, and try to get a, a decent trip. What do you think of the atmosphere here here in Koenigsee? Oh, you know, it's, it's, it's an incredible place to race. Uh, only problem is we're racing the Germans. So, uh, yeah, I love it here, and uh, hopefully we can come out here with a medal. So it can't be more than, than bronze. Yeah, they're really far away for the gold and the silver, but, you know, Hofter's about 2,500 back, so Hayes has to make a big mistake to throw away a bronze medal here. Good start time. You know, the United States has not won that Martineau Cup since 1959 in St. Moritz. Hayes won an Olympic medal in 2002. We hadn't won an Olympic medal since 56. Hayes and Scheimer winning those medals, but driving the Bodine sleds. And don't forget, next year, Calgary, they love this track. They train very often there in Calgary. And well, Hayes has won double gold on that uh, track before. And while uh, our German athletes uh, celebrated Christmas, they went to Calgary. They trained there. Yeah, and the Bodine sled is flying down here. This is a good heat. This looks like at least a bronze medal for the United States. 33 hundreds. Last corner, and yes, United States lost a little time on the bottom. So another bronze medal at the World Championships for Todd Hayes in the Bodine sled. Hey, the next time you see Jeff Bodine out there, all you NASCAR fans, pat him on the back. Thank him for this wonderful support. I think we are quite happy. You see all this uh, support here for the Americans. And I think, I think they, they like this atmosphere. I wish it would be on all the tracks like this here. They actually earn it. Billy Schupenauer, Olympic silver medalist with Hayes in 2002. Steve Messler. Messler from Buffalo. I had a nice chat with him uh, about his parents who always do a barbecue party by the track in Lake Placid. But now Christoph Langen. Christoph Heider, Enrico Kuhn and Jens Noka. Jens Noka actually works in the bakery. <laughs> And the very best, or will he be the second best? Your comment about Christoph Langen, his idea of silver medals, it's the first place of losers? That's what he always says. 
Well, this guy has had some career. Gold medal in four-man bobsledding in Nagano. Gold medal in two-man bobsledding in Salt Lake. 40 years old, so he is the experienced one on the circuit. On his home track. Isn't really a happy individual. His idea of life is building bobsleds in the summer. He builds his own equipment. That's a big difference to uh, Andre Lange, who comes next, who's in the lead because he is a family man. And he is the team manager and one of the best pilots. Yeah, and Lange and Lange don't really have a love affair for each other. And last week, Lange did lost to Lange, finished third to Lange and second in the two man. And these two have a personal battle every time they go out. And this looks like plenty for Christoph Long, and the question is, is it good enough for a gold medal? It's at least a silver medal for Christoph Long on his home track. And the Americans, you see them already celebrating the bronze medal with bottles in their hands. Well, this is the end of a long season. These guys started training on ice in October. Their summer push training up in Calgary and Lake Placid in July and August. This is a long sport. This is about a six, eight month sport. A lot of injuries out here right now, a lot of guys with flus. Christoph Langen, he had a tough season because he had to go through the uh, German selections. What? Normally, he was very often nominated before the season started, but this time, he didn't race last season due to an injury. This time, he had to qualify. And this time, he salutes the crowd, something he didn't do last week in the two-man. No, he and was too disappointed last, last week when he lost it by a friction to Pierre Luders. And this time, Andre Lange can beat him. He had a very good third run. Here's his team, Udo Lehmann from Altenburg, Kevin Kuske, Potsdam, René Hoppe from Erfurt. Last year in Lake Placid, he was on some roll. Two-man bobsled. He'd won the previous week in Calgary. He came out, won the two-man title in Lake Placid. Then he turned around the next week and duplicated. He won the four-man bob title. And Andre Lange won nine out of ten four-man races over a full year of time, finished second once. He's been on some dominating roll. Three out of four years, he's won the four-man title. 1,600 is his advantage to Christoph Langen. That's a lot of time when you have talent like this. Look at the start, best start time. These guys are injured. Lange was complaining about a bad foot. He's got a bad foot, and one of his brakemen uh, has got the flu. Randy Hoppy was seriously, seriously had a flu bug on the first day of the competition. The doctor said he was better on the second day. 3,400s lead up to now. Wow, that's a lot of time. 114.8. No one's been near that. I think the prince of bobsleigh, Andre Lange, is going to beat the king of bobsleigh of the 90s again. Now he can't lose it. This is the new and the old world champion. Andre Lange, rushing for his third world, Cup title, world championship title in four years, he's done it. If he wins this trophy next year, he'll get to keep it. This trophy's been around since 1930 in the sport. No one's ever won it four times in a row. And Andre Lange is establishing himself as one of the sport's greats. Andre Lange, Udo Lehmann, he used to race with uh, Harald Schudai already, Kevin Kuske, and René Hoppe. Hoppe still from the junior times. Andre Lange won several world junior titles, and now he is uh, back on the top. There's the trophy. One more year, he gets to keep it. I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah, they're going to have to do a duplicate of it or what? Because. Next year in Calgary, he knows how to win in that track. He's won the last two times out. So, so if you want to dedicate the cup, please send it to the FIBT. Yes, because I think next year, if this guy's still around, he could win that trophy. 75-year-old trophy. He could be the owner of it after next year's world championships. And what a sportsman this guy is. He didn't touch it before. Yeah, he always says, now when I touch it before the race, then I don't get it. Superstitious. One of the sports greats. What a competition we've seen here. That was so close on the first day. Imagine uh, this morning, that was just one hundred of a second. Now, three tenths, more than three tenths. Bronze medal for Todd Hayes. What a good result. Yeah, United States. Pierre Luders in six. Stevie Oakham, the United States in 12th place.
We'll have the interviews after the break. Epson T001, Canon BC31E. Shopping for ink and toner in most stores is hit or miss. HP C9720. Come on, come on. A. Ah. At Staples, we stock a huge selection of cartridges, so we guarantee we'll have the one you need. And right now, buy any combo twin or two single packs of ink and get one of these reams of multi-purpose paper free instantly. Staples, that was easy. Smoking is not a normal, natural function. Putting a, you know, a fire in your face and breathing the smoke in is, is something we would normally try to avoid. You gotta ask yourself why current smokers tell non-smokers not to start. There's a reason for it. They get hooked. They can't stop, they don't like it, they want to quit. They spend the rest of their lives trying to quit. Tobacco companies want to make smoking look cool, but it's not cool. What is cool is bringing the best out in yourself, rising to, to your potential and, and accomplishing something real. Film Festival March 8th to the 14th only on Fuel. To get hooked up with Fuel today, log on at Fuel.tv or call 1877 for Fuel TV. Welcome back to Codice, Germany. We keep talking about the Martineau Cup. The guy here in the left of your screen is the legendary American Billy Fist. There's a movie coming out on him by Paramount Pictures starring Tom Cruise on Billy Fist's life. Here's the last time the Americans won this trophy in 59. Here's Long A, here's Long N, and here's Long A again winning it in 2002 and 2003. Now he's won it again in 2004. He gets to keep the trophy if he wins it one more year. Look at the crowds on hand. It's been spectacular. The FIBT President's Cup, they created it this year, Ron. It's for the combination of the country points in all five disciplines. The Germans won it. Great showing by the Canadians. The USA was in third. That's something to keep your eyes on, almost like a Ryder Cup type format. Todd Hayes, congratulations for the third place. Uh, great feeling. Absolutely. Uh, to come into Germany and uh, against three Germans and come out here with a medal, uh, we're extremely happy. Uh, congratulations again. Thank you. Andre Lange, the world champion. Um, three times in a row. That's a fantastic result. So you're leading all the way through. It, uh, so um, congratulations. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Weltmeister zum dritten Mal in einer Reihe. Wie fühlst du dich? Es muss Wahnsinn sein. Es ist der Wahnsinn, gerade hier in Königssee. Es ist mein erster Sieg hier überhaupt. Und das ist dann natürlich auch so funktioniert. Es ist ein Traum. So he says it's a dream. It's his first uh, uh, victory here on this track. And he's just absolutely happy and going to have a great party. So congratulations. Herzlichen Glückwunsch nochmal. Christoph. Thanks for Tina Boitmann, famous model from Germany, for doing the interviews. And that was a great week here on the Koenigsegg, John. Yeah, the track was unbelievable. The crowds, great presentation of the sliding sports. Next year, we move to Calgary. So for all my FIBT television team, especially my commentary partner, Ron Riggett, I'm John Morgan. Thanks for watching. See you the next time on Speed. Goodbye. I don't think that's it.